guys welcome or welcome back to my channel oh my gosh I am so tired I just got home from work and but I know my brain is moving at optimal speed it's the tiredness I swear but look how cute my outfit is look how cute oh my gosh I need to show you something I know I know look how cute these shoes are look how cute these shoes are how cute are they how cute are they? Oh my god. If you need this, I'm going to link it down below or I'm going to link it somewhere so that you can get your hands on this, okay? Because you need the shoes in your life. Oh, and how cute are my bag? I picked this up at Target. Very cute and very festive. But as promised, I am going to be decorating my week today because a lot of the stuff that I ordered came in and it is time to do the grand finale of my week. I'm missing a few pieces, but I feel like I can do what I need to do tonight and then we'll see what else we get up to because I also have some decorative items that I picked up at the and Barrel and at the Dollar Tree and some other places that I also want to show you guys. So let's get the wreath off the door and let's get to decorating. Okay guys, so currently the wreath is looking like this. I added a cute little bow just because, I mean, why not, right? And so we are going to decorate this and make it look so pretty, so festive, so colorful. Let's do this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fluff it and then I'm going to add all the ornaments that I've ordered. So let's get into that right now. Okay guys, so I apologize about the loud sound earlier. That was my AC because it was really hot in here. I don't know how to manage the heat. I try to turn it off. It seems like I'm turning it on. I try to turn it on the other way. It seems like I'm making it hotter. There's no thermostat. It's just this heater with like a knob. So I apologize about that profusely. So now we have our wreath. Let's just fluff it out a little bit. Just like get it to be like a little bit bigger in size and stature. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this bow on here, so I'm just gonna take this off like really quickly. Um, a little flip back to the side and just fluff it out a little bit just to make it like a little bit bigger, just a little bit cuter. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to add lights to this. To this. Ooh, cute. Put this back on here. Okay, so now that we have our lights, I'm just going to turn that on and we're going to untangle that. And it looks like we have enough. So if this is where this is gonna be, and I could like tie this to here. Okay, at this point, I am just wrapping the lights around very haphazardly. I've done this a few different ways, trying to wrap it all around the wreath. It didn't work out because then the cord got shortened. So I feel like this is the best way to wrap it. Like, do some long lengths and then do some side to sides for this length of lights that I have. I was just saying that I wish the wires of the cord for the lights was green so that it was more camouflage into the wreath rather than being silver. And I'm just here sticking the cords into the wreath so that they are camouflage and you can only see the glow of the lights. So far, this is what we're looking like. The next thing I'm gonna put on here is this thing here, which looks like this. It's literally just a tree of life, which is representing God, the son of the world. Just gonna put that at the top and the angels here, the highest order. And I just want to make sure that it just falls in place and represents the highest. The way that I want to represent the highest just looks like that. Really pretty. Then we're gonna put on our big strawberries. So I'm just going to place these in different areas, you know, just like very haphazardly. Just trying to get that like red vibes going. I want the red to show more than the green. Here. So 
currently we are looking like this. And now I'm going to put these little ones on there just to give it like more red. Okay, so I have a few greens to choose from. I'm not really sure which one to go for, but I'm feeling like this one. It's gonna take a string and I'm just going to string these on here. Okay, so now that I have all of my things on a thread, I'm just gonna put this to the side and I am going to cut about a piece like this. And we're just gonna fill out some space. Just Here I'm just placing and positioning the smaller strawberry. And then I'm giving it just a normal tie knot in the back. We're just going to do that all the way around. Okay, so now we have our glue gun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the flowers where I think we could have some, some flowers. Okay, so I don't know if this is too much because I'm either gonna put this bow on here and I don't know if that much already is overwhelming this entire thing. Um, not sure, but let's do a little bit of glue gunning. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of this glue because I'm, I want to reuse this, this wreath next year. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of glue and just stick it on there. Just a little bit of glue, not too much, so that it's easily removable. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So far we're looking like this. Very Christmassy, very pretty. I really like that. It's looking like a beautiful Christmas garden. I thought I could put my dragon on here on the side and then I would put a lion up here. But I don't have my lion so I just don't know if the dragon is going to be essential right now because the lion is more important to me and more essential to me. But for now I'm going to put the dragon on there. So that's the dragon on there. I'm going to get the lion to put the lion somewhere over here. And I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so now I need to decide on a bow. I'm either gonna do this bow, which I think is just a little bit too red for this. I also have the bow that's in my hair currently. I don't know if this goes anymore. I'm not sure which one to go for. Like, do I go for this? I think I think this doesn't go with the vibe. Then I think this is a little bit off. Then I think this is just, it's not going with the vibe. It's, it just gives cheap. And so I don't know what to do, but I definitely want to do a bow, but I don't know if I have to get another like kind of bow to like get this. But so far, I think I need a bow that's like red like this. So this is like an incomplete project and I really like it. So this is what our wreath is looking like. Okay guys, I had a little bit of miscalculation because I forgot that I went to Griffith Park and I foraged tons of pine cones, mini ones, little miniature ones like this, cute little leaves and stuff, just cute things to put on the wreath and I totally forgot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my extension cord and use the glue gun and glue them on and then I'm gonna show you the end product of it. But yeah, because I went foraging like a foraging princess, like the forest princess that I am. And I got the cutest little pine cones. Look at that. Precious, precious. So I'm gonna put some of them on the wreath and I'll be right back to show you the end result. Okay, so this is the updated look. And I feel like I really outdid myself like, oh my gosh. How cute. I totally forgot that I foraged all of these to like put in there. And the tree of life. Most 
gorgeous wreath I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> I love it. I absolutely positively love it. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. It's lovely. I couldn't have asked for any other blessing. It's just gorgeous. Just so lovely. Just so lovely. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed me like decorating my wreath and like putting it up and showing you guys just how I would personally like decorate a wreath and in like my personal style. The only thing that was missing from the wreath was a, a lion's head that I forgot that I canceled because I wanted to get one on Etsy that I liked more and now I just need to order that and just put it on there. But before I let you out, I just want to let you guys know what I'm into for this like winter fall season. I'm going to be embroidering, okay? I embroidered before in home economics class when I was in high school, but I haven't. And you know us millennials, we're not afraid to embrace our granny activities. And um, they're not really granny activities, but you know, more mature activities. Perception, perception, perception. But anyways, I picked up these three rolls from Michaels. I'm not sure if I showed you guys on, go follow me on Instagram. You'll see everything that I'm doing like on Instagram. Cause I'm sure I shared this on Instagram or on TikTok, one of them. But I'm going to be embroidering. I got this roll. I got, you know, the embroidery like things so that you can do the embroidery. And then I also got some needles and then I got the embroidery thread. I did a whole unboxing of my embroidery like kit situation on TikTok or on Instagram. Follow me on both Instagram and TikTok. And that is what I'm going to be doing for the winter. I'm going to embrace granny activities like embroidering, like what? And so I also picked up this. How cute this is? So this is like a bag hole. You go to a restaurant or a bar or something, not putting your bag on the ground or like on a seat. You just like stick your bag on here and then you just clip it onto the table and it just holds your bag. I feel like every lady should have one of these. If you're a lady, you need one of these. It was not expensive at all. Listen, I want to get into like more expensive bags. Like I would love a Hermes, like a Birkin, I don't know, something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you gotta practice from now on, you know what I mean? Practice what you want. Like, you don't want your Birkin to be on the floor, right? You don't. So, get one of these. I'm gonna link it down below, okay? I got some hair care tools. Oh, I see all the girls using this to like stimulate your scalp. And I was like, oh, I need one of those. I wanna stimulate my scalp too, like why not? This one's for like hair dye, but I'm sure you can like put oils in here like oil your scalp and things, you know, get into the roots and get your oiling done. And then I got this thing. This thing was very popular about three or so years ago and I always wondered about it, right? You're supposed to use it to like exfoliate your skin and supposed to like take dead skin cells off of your like top layer of your skin. And I always wondered about, it. this one's cute. It says you, 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 cutie. I always wondered about it. So I thought, okay, I need a scrub. Like, let's try it and see if I'm going to get like the peeling of your skin back that I saw in the original ads. I don't know why it came feeling very moist. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's supposed to be moist. I thought I was supposed to moisten it, but I'm gonna try it on my legs and see if it peels off the top layer of my skin because I want clean, fresh legs in winter so that all my moisturizers can be absorbed deeply into my skin, okay? So I, I picked up that, and then it's the Christmas season. I'm not gonna say I'm a single gal because you don't know my life. You don't need to know my life. But I got one set of these because a girl needs to have a whole spoon in her mouth. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. I need to have a gold fork in my mouth. I do, I don't see why not. Why should I not have a gold knife? Or, how cute is this little spoon? Oh my god, oh, what is this for? Is this for like shrimp and stuff? And this is probably like a caviar spoon? I don't eat caviar unless you do get caviar. But this was a cute set. And I thought, okay, I'll just buy one and if I like it, then I'll get the whole set. The reviews were good, which is why I picked it up. And now that I have it in my hand, this is, okay, this is high quality. It's not like high quality, high quality. I mean, it's Shein, okay? It's from Shein, so it's not like the highest of quality, but this is a good product. Like, come on now, I have a gold spoon in my mouth. Like, stop me, 
okay? I woke up like this. I woke up like this. I'm done. I definitely needed like a glass straw because I just broke all my glass straws. I'm very clumsy and shit just happens and then you see a straw on the ground broken in pieces. I can't tell you how much straw I broke on, but it's ridiculous. But I saw this cute one and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. It's a pink butterfly. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? It has the curve like that. So I thought that was cute. I'd be drinking from that. And that's all the stuff that I didn't get when I should have gotten all my package. But now, before I go, I just want to say this is not Vlogmas. You know what I mean? It's Vlogmas-ish, but it's not quite Vlogmas because I'm not going to be like vlogging every day for, dude, I got work. <laughs> okay, but it's a Vlogmas-ish series that I'm doing this year because I've been watching all of the British girlies. I was just like so inspired. I was like, I can do this. Like, why am I not doing Vlogmas or some variation? Because I would not be able to pick up a camera like every day of December, of leading up to this month, no thanks. Um, but I can do a variation of that, which is what Lydia Millian is currently doing. She's keeping up her two videos per week, but it's very festive. Oh, oh, and the next thing is that, I think the next video that we do is actually I'm going to decorate my apartment with some little cute festive things that I picked up from different places. So come back for that. But um thank you guys so much for watching and and until then have a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Ta -ta. Happy holidays. And I can't wait to see you guys pretty soon.